Spring break for Chicago Public School students starts at the end of the school day, March 26, and runs until April 5th. At a news conference at Nash Elementary School, Mayor Daly and city officials reminded residents of the many positive activities that young people can enjoy during the upcoming break. Here are highlights from the March 23rd news conference. As we move forward and the weather gets even warmer, children are outside the house for uh, more time each day. We need to give them every chance to be involved in positive activities and away from violence. Chicago Public School students begin their spring break at the end of classes this Friday. As you know, Passover begins Monday, and of course, the Easter holidays begin at the end of the, end of the week. Return to school on, on uh, Monday, April 5th. Opening day. <laughs> That's another. Uh, while this is a welcome break for uh, parents and students alike, uh, I'm concerned. We all are concerned about the safety of all of our children. And I say all of our children, not just your children, but children of all communities. This extended period of school gives our young people time on their hands, which unfortunately can be dangerous. The free time makes them vulnerable to threats of gangs, guns, and drug dealers. It means we have to redouble all of our efforts to keep our children out of harm's way. Parents, it's your responsibility, all the loved ones, all, all the adults in all our community to keep our children safe, involved in positive activities. Students, is also responsibility to keep yourself and your friends safe. You have responsibility for yourself and even your friends. Look out for one another, and that's nothing wrong with that. At the same time, the Chicago Police Department with com uh, community and faith-based groups have responsibility to all of our children and adults. That's why for many years, this ongoing support, we've offered a wide variety of positive activities to keep all of our young people engaged during the holiday breaks, summer vacation. So today I want to remind Chicagoans, but especially our parents, guardians, and students that during the holiday school break, the city and sister agencies are providing many activities for young people. One of the most important of them is the Safe Haven, Safe Holiday program is a partnership between the city's Department of Family, Support Services, Chicago Public Schools, and faith-based community. This five-day program started during last winter break. It was such a success that's being offered again now. It has been ex uh, expanded to allow up to 1,000 students to go about 40 community churches, take part in a variety of activities to keep them safe. Lunch, security, and transportation are provided. CPS is also offering an important program for this break. Tomorrow, CPS will partner with the Chicago Police for Stop the Silence, Stop the Violence Day in every public school, just to remind all of our children about stopping the silence and Stop the Violence Day. As part of the program, teachers and students will talk about violence in our communities, impact it on our lives. Students will also submit ideas on how to stem violence in their community, on their block, or in their, or in their school, which of course gets to right the heart of the problem, the code of silence, the code of silence in many communities that protects the gang bangers and dope dealers who are killing your child or children of the community. In addition, next week, Chicago Public Schools offer a new Stop the Violence, Stop the Silence four-day program for 100 high school students in partnership with Little Black Pearl Art and Design Center on 47th Street. Students who participate will express their feelings on violence through art projects. Our CAPS program will also continue to offer its Police Explore, Sports, and We Care role model programs this spring break, all which give our young people positive exposure to our police department and its officers. The Chicago Park District will offer its spring break campus March 29th through April 2nd at more than 40 locations all across the city. The program is room for about 1,000 young people, including arts, crafts, sports, cultural activities, and more. The city's Department of Family and Support Services, in partnership with more than 150 community-based organizations, will offer programs for young people, uh, people from, excuse me, <coughs> from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day during the break at many locations across the city. There is free family entertainment every day at the break at Navy Pier. Don't forget, we have more than 50 museums, many of which offer free or offer designated free days. Lincoln Park Zoo, one of the few free zoos in the country. Of course, I want to remind everyone that Chicago Police Department will continue to enforce the city's curfew all across Chicago. So parents and guardians, make sure your children are at home before the curfew begins. Finally, the Chicago Police Department will launch Operation Spring Break in collaboration with the Illinois State Police, Cook County Adult Probation Gang Intervention. As part of the efforts, the police will provide additional resources to at-risk communities. 
These are just some of the steps we are taking to ensure the safety of every young child and every person in our city. I urge everyone to make a commitment today to make next week a safe and a productive spring break for all of our children. Uh, we have flyers dealing with uh, the locations of many of the uh, uh, many of the locations, uh, community based, the park district, uh, com uh, other organizations that people can go to in their communities. Thank you. I want to start by uh, thanking the faith community that has uh, stepped up to the plate in so many ways on the violence front. And the most recent demonstration of that is the Safe Haven program. Uh, as the mayor mentioned this morning, this was a program that first began over winter break with huge success. The culmination of the winter event was students coming together uh, in one forum talking about violence citywide and what students can do to help curb violence. The result of that uh, and uh, lots of other input we received from the community is what tomorrow as the superintendent and as the mayor said uh, will be the Stop the Silence Day across the Chicago public school system. Uh, this program is designed where we will be showing videos of families who have lost loved ones. The goal is to spur conversation across our students and make it a learning moment where they can reflect on what happens when students don't share information when they either know violence is going to occur or they know that something has occurred. Uh, so we're very excited about that and we believe that uh, it will be a great program. We're also excited that over the spring break period we will have 40 churches that are not only serving breakfast and lunch but are also providing lots of guidance to our students, are providing them with a place to go and activities to keep them busy over the spring break. We're encouraging students citywide to seek out uh, one of these uh, churches as a place to go and we have that information available uh, to hand out today as well as on our website at www.cps. Dot edu. And finally, we just want to also thank Catholic Charities that has stepped up to the plate and will be providing all of the meals across these churches to our students. Thank you.